Hi Capricorn, welcome to your November You versus Them Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, we're looking at your energy and the person on your mind, whoever you're thinking of, whatever your situation may be. So we're going to look at the energies between you and then the advice and guidance as well for the energy between you. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus male or female general collective rating please only take what resonates for you including the science mentioned and i will be putting um well you here capricorn your person there you may flip it switch it whenever you need to cross watchers as well all right welcome in capricorn hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time everything that you do need to know is down below your playlist is down there a list of the six readings i do per month if you're new mostly love readings and i just want one more here for you and the link to my other channel along with your playlist there if you'd like to check that out all right capricorn let's take a look at your energy we have a falling so we have 14 which is five which is a change and we have acceptance we have 55 wow so something is big time changing here three fives you wouldn't reduce 55 because it's a master number double number fives again are all about change but if you did that would be 10 endings new beginnings full circle new beginnings that would be this could be 15 which is six a very healing balanced energy so it looks like somebody is accepting here that you know falling could be maybe falling in love accepting the fact that maybe two people have fallen for each other i do see someone accepting someone's hand here so just saying capricorn let's see did you accept the fact here that you've fallen for someone? Hmm. Or someone's fallen for you and you're kind of accepting their invitation, maybe to date and get to know them, you know, either way. Let's see. Wow, so we do have on their side here a guardian of the soul family. We have 26, which is eight, which is about action, movement, infinity. And we have coming together, 66. So you have 55, they have 66, wow. Now six is a very healing, balanced energy. You wouldn't reduce that either. They could be very protective of you. Definitely, you know, you could be from the same soul family, soul tribe. Maybe you've had past lives together. They definitely feel a soul connection with you and I feel like they're very protective of you. So when, even if they're around you, you may not sense it. I feel like, I don't feel like overprotective, but they're very, very, um, just very protective, like in a good way, you know? And they do see this coming together with you. Well, it's like they watch over you, but not in a creepy way. That's kind of what I feel. Oh, oh Capricorn, all right, let's see. All right, so let's take a look at your energy first. I'm, I'm feeling like a very soft, easy feeling with this person over here. Definitely green can be the hot chakra, so I definitely feel like a soft, vulnerable heart on their side. Now, if you're like, oh my god, this person, blah, 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 it's probably not your reading then, but again, you could switch it if you need to. Um, if you're getting triggered by something from the past, I had someone leave a comment. They were triggered by the reading and they said there was somebody new but they said this is about a past person well obviously if you're still being triggered about a past person and you're with a new person there's something that needs to be dealt with there anyway i'm not going to say more about that anyway let's see oh so fyi uh capricorn i did put reversals in the deck if you know me i don't normally do that um i call them blank reversals i don't know which ones are reversed in here I normally can tell if something needs to be read, uh, reversed or not, whether it's reversed or not, but I had a poll on the channel if how you guys felt about reversals, and everyone seems to like the reversals, so you can leave me a comment, let me know what you think. All right, let's see. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm, that could be long-term wealth, growth, abundance, commitment, marriage, just saying. But we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. And we have the high priestess huh did you have feelings for this person in the past and you could see yourself long term with them but did you keep it to yourself with the high priestess that could be very quiet secretive like not really telling of one's secrets but the ace of wands is an exciting new beginning 
So, I mean, it could be that um, I was feeling that maybe, maybe this is a coworker or friendship, you know, that pentacle energy. And you always thought, wow, I could really see myself with this person. I've fallen for this person, but the Ace of Wands, maybe it just wasn't the right time. Now, um, this person may be coming forward with an offer because I do see coming together. All right, let's see. Hierophant, oh my goodness, and the Page of Swords. Huh, it's like you clearly see here, Page of Swords is like clarity. Maybe you were doing research about connections and maybe you were researching them. Are they married? Are they not married? Maybe you didn't know a lot about this person. Ten of Cups, oh my gosh. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. So we have Pisces, we have Aquarius, we have Taurus. Hierophant is about five, it's about change. Again, another five, just saying. So something's changing within your energy. And the Hierophant is about doing the moral just right thing, traditions, values. It can be about marriage or commitment. Now, the Page of Swords can be about learning something new, research, spying, truths, communication. Something's changing regarding truths, communication, and total happiness. Nine of Cups reversed. Hmm. The Empress. And the Star. So now we have the Star upright, which would overtrump the Nine of Cups reversed. That's like the minor of the Star. So it could be at one point where you knew it couldn't happen because of maybe your circumstances, their circumstances. So it was like that wish couldn't come true at the time. But now the Empress, I mean, Divine Feminine Energy, seeing like this wish dream come true, coming into reality is kind of what I feel. Never losing hope, faith, optimism, balance, something meant to be. All standing tall in, you know, integrity, value, worth. Huh, we have Libra, Taurus, and Aquarius. Interesting. Now it could be, all right, now we can come together and fall in love now and accepting. It could be that, you know, it was being protected and guarded at the time by the universe. You know, because maybe this person just wasn't ready or there were circumstances regarding around them. Emperor, oh my God, the Emperor and the Empress. Both upright. Oh my gosh. Page of Cups coming from the Emperor. And the Seven of Swords. Why is that here? Justice. Hmm. In reverse, though. So. So I, I think there was avoidance because the Seven of Swords can be avoidance. There was avoidance of this in the past because somebody wasn't through with something, a soul contract, some sort of contract here. could have been on the Empress part. But now they're getting ready. I mean, I think I think this justice is almost done um, as well. Now let's just get one more on that. Why is that here? Knight of Cups for a moment in love. Parting, dating, getting to know. Huh. So, if someone is not through with, like, a divorce or something here, once that's done, boy, this emperor's coming forward with some sort of offer, apology, romantic, sincere gesture. There had to be, he avoided this before because going through something maybe legally or maybe it was, you know, a work contract or something, you know, something wasn't right at the time for this to move forward. Let's see, we have Aries, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra. We have the Five of Pentacles reversed, which means no more separation, no more lack. Nine of Wands won't be struggling so much with this. King of Wands. So in reverse, though, so he couldn't, someone couldn't take control of the situation in the past because of something happening here, but something will be overcome here. Strong connection cannot be denied. A lot of holding back. There was a lot of holding back. The King of Wands goes after what they want, but in reverse, there was a lot of holding back. Probably because, you know, it was necessary. Past lives. So we have Leo. Leo. Two cards of Leo here. Wow. Oh, I'm going to do one more. I'm supposed to do one more row. So we're just going to put these here. Let's get one more. 
Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work to this. Could have been a work situation for some. And maybe, you know, because of the circumstances, especially if they were a boss or you were a boss, and sometimes you can't do that. Five of Swords, yeah, that would have sabotaged the whole connection here, definitely. Two of Swords, so being very decisive. And, you know, maybe we just had to put an end to something at the time. It wasn't the right time. But something it was very heartbreaking. Three of Swords, the Devil. But I feel like... Um, Devil's in reverse, though, which means overcoming any obstacles here. Negative energies associated with this. So transformation. So let's see, we have Scorpio, Capricorn. Hmm. All right, so let's take a look at their energy here for Capricorn. If you can leave me a comment, let me know how you like the reversals. Seems to really change up the dynamics of the readings that is for sure please do make sure um that you if you are sub you truly are sub it seems like things are going down the toilet like all around in this platform not just me it's everyone in the spiritual community so i think they're unsubbing a lot of people they're not circulating our content they're not supporting or promoting us that's what i feel and i see a lot of decline in tarot readers especially huge ones not getting views and stuff like they used to so i'm just kind of putting that out there so make sure you want to go make sure you truly are sub the bell is on because they may have unsubbed a lot of people or they're just not sending you notifications all right nine of swords yeah they're not stressed out something is not stressing them out anymore king of water i feel like they're ready to come forward with all their love and emotions they're not stressed about doing that anymore yeah they're going to answer the call here they're ready to answer the call of this connection judgment there could be a final judgment now in their situation where something is finally resolved and released because that's what kind of my release card but also answering the call making that final decision soul contracts past lives wow so something they're not stressed so whatever um has been released here has relieved the stress about not coming forward like full-fledged with their uh, love and emotions towards you so we have pisces showing up in scorpio page of cups i believe you had it in reverse or did you have it? no you had it upright right there both have the page of cups so you're wanting to communicate feelings emotions and the ten of cups total happiness joy fulfillment a lot of emotional energy on their side of and it's all upright which means it's positive happiness joy fulfillment in every single way ten of swords something is done it's complete on that judgment card complete completed and released five of wands so that can be about conflict so what is that about Nine of Pentacles. So they're single, independent, Knight of Fire. <sighs> In reverse, though, so we have Sagittarius showing up here. So I kind of feel like, again, they couldn't take action because it's attached to Judgment Ten of Swords on this. There, they definitely have a lot of attraction, fire, passion. There's no doubt about that. But they do have a lot of love and emotions. We have a lot of cups here. But they knew if they took action on this, then it wasn't the right time it just would have caused a lot of conflict here with the five of ones maybe between the two of you their circumstance and they're like you know what there's there's really no need of that so we have ten of ones final final burdens are being released so there could be some final things being taken care of here knight of pentacles so i feel like things are going to start speeding up so where things were very very slow um the ten of wands in reverse could be a complete release as well because upright it could be about overworked and overburdened juggling around a lot of energy here at the two of pentacles but the knight of pentacles i feel like things are going to start speeding up now especially on their end page of swords in reverse hmm. seven of pentacles in reverse and the king of pentacles coming through very stable grounded sincere um they weren't yet able to speak their truths 
Um, there was a lot of investments they had to take care of, a lot of things they invested in this life, other life that they had, other attachment that they had, that they had to disconnect from. So that's why they've been holding back communicating. But we have the King of Pentacles, which is very stable, grounded. They could have been married. A loyal, trustworthy kind of person, which is good. So, wow. So definitely here, um, wow. They were very protective of this connection because they didn't want anything, anything to come in between the two of you once their situation was resolved. Nine of Cups in reverse. They don't want to be single. They still see you as a wish dream come true. For our cups, they're certain of that. Eight of Wands, they weren't able to take action before on this new beginning in love. So that's why it was in limbo, but it's in limbo no longer because he's upside down, which means getting ready to take action. No more, no more limbo stuck energy. Nope. And here comes temperance soulmates coming together here. Past lives, healing, patience, healing, balance, divine alchemy. It's the right time. So I have Sag, Pisces. Wow. All right. So you better get ready here, Capricorn, because they're coming full force, I feel. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Let's get some advice guidance for this connection. The energy between you. Advice and guidance for the energy between you. Patience. Wow, we just saw um, temperance. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. It's been a lot of patience with this. Commitment. Oh my gosh, I'm just saying. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. So, being very patient, but in the end here, you're getting the commitment that you desire. Respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. They have so much respect for relationships and love and being doing the, you know, moral, just, right, honest thing, especially with that King of Pentacles. It's a lot of respect for all energies, no matter what they are. So that's definitely very respectful here, which is a great energy. Wow. I feel a lot of integrity on this side. And discernment you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion so very decisive energy here i feel on both parts you know just waiting for the right time and boy that time is coming all right capricorn uh, that's what i have for you um hope it all resonated wishing you the best and don't forget everything's below links the other channel playlist it's all there wishing you the best and i shall see you next time